is my lens dirty? Is it clean? Is it smudged with oil and dirt? Today I'm going to go over some words that are very easy, but have a little bit of a different meaning. And you may know those words, but stay tuned. Take out a clean page in your notebook, a fresh page in your notebook, and write down some notes because there might be a mistake that you make with the word dirty that could lead to a very serious problem. So let's get to the serious problem first because that's what I usually do. The word dirty can have a sexual meaning. Be careful not to say she is dirty or he is dirty. There will be another video about the word easy. You also don't want to say she is easy or he is easy. So why don't you want to say he is dirty or she is dirty? That's because that means they have a dirty mind. To have a dirty mind means they have a very sexual mind. Their mindset is very focused on sexual things. So maybe you mentioned something normal, totally normal, like making a sandwich and they, they start thinking other things that are not about food. That means they have a dirty mind. You will hear someone say dirty jokes. If you hear the expression dirty jokes, that means sexual jokes. You might hear expressions like dirty thoughts or dirty pictures, something like that. And that's usually meaning sexual. But remember, don't say she is a dirty girl or he is a dirty boy. Um, don't say you are dirty. Even if the person is covered in mud and filthy, just say um, you have dirt on you or you have mud on you. But that's tomorrow. Then there's not a moment to lose, Charlie. Wash your face, comb your hair, scrub your hands, brush your teeth, blow your nose. Get that mud off your pants. You can be dirty. That means you are covered in dirt or you are covered in mud or you just need a shower. So in that case, you can say, oh, I'm so dirty. I need to take a shower. That's really the only time you should say it about yourself. Like, oh, I feel dirty or I am dirty. But even that could be a problem sometimes if said in the wrong context to the wrong person at the wrong time. To say I am dirty or I feel dirty could give them the impression you are being sexual. Of course, native English speakers can use this. We can say, oh my God, you're so dirty. We know exactly when and how to say it so that it is not taken the wrong way. Um, of course, when you're speaking to children, it's usually fine. People know you don't have that other meaning, but if you are talking to somebody else about them actually being dirty, just say you have dirt on you or you have a lot of dirt on you or you need a shower, you need to wash up. Even that can be rude, so maybe a close friend. Um, you might say you are muddy, you are greasy. There are a lot of words that are related to being dirty. I will show you some of them now so that you can distinguish the difference. Messy, dirty, muddy, dusty, moldy, rusty, greasy, stained. Okay, so to go over those in details, muddy is from mud. Very simple. Dirt plus water equals mud. You might get muddy after a rainstorm or in a certain place that has a lot of mud. So I'm muddy. My shoes are muddy. Then dirt is dirt. It might be soil or whatever. You might see kids playing in the dirt. Um, you will also hear some slang saying uh, the dirt. That might be information like, oh, I'm going to get the dirt on him. You're going to get some information about him that is kind of secret that he doesn't want people to know. And um, maybe it makes him look bad. It's just bad information about him. 
Many people try to get the dirt on Trump. It's not that difficult. There is so much dirt. You may hear the term dirty deed. That doesn't mean sexual. That just means it's not really a good deed. To do the dirty work is to do the hard work. That's the physical labor. That's something where you might actually get dirty. Or maybe you don't get dirty. Maybe it's just um, some work on a project. It could be in an office, but it's like, uh, maybe it seems like lower work sometimes. To be greasy or oily is caused from grease or oil. That's usually from food. My hair will get greasy if I don't wash it for a few days. You might have oily skin. Um, oily or greasy is not always a bad thing, of course, but it can be insulting if you say it to somebody that their skin or hair is oily or greasy. Um, they don't really like that because people don't feel comfortable with that feeling, so some people get embarrassed about that. You might hear somebody say that a person is greasy. Um, that's not very common, but that's like you can't really trust that person. They do bad things or they are dishonest. Dust is dust. That's not the same as dirt or mud. It's very fine. It sits on your shelves. It might be in the air. We have some micro dust in the air now in many countries, unfortunately. Dust can be used as a verb or a noun. There's dust on the bookshelf. There's dust on the furniture. Um, it's also used as a verb. So you can dust the shelves and you can dust the furniture. Moldy is usually about food or houses or constructions that have developed mold. That's because of wet conditions, some moisture and not getting enough air with ventilation that usually causes something to be moldy or to develop mold. Mold is different than mildew. There's a slight difference, but there are three terms that sometimes get confused. It is mildew, mold, and moss. Moss is like green vegetation or plants that can grow outside on something, but they all have the same kind of feel and appearance sometimes. There can be black mold, green mold, white mold. There are different types of mold. And there might even be mold underneath your wallpaper or behind your wall. I remember my mom had some mold growing behind her wall and she didn't even know until someone was having breathing problems. It can seriously affect your health if you do not handle the mold. It grows rapidly. You want to keep a dry atmosphere and keep everything clean. So quickly to clean something is, uh, it can be to wash something or to organize something. You might say, I want to clean my house. That could be just organizing everything because your house is messy. Messy is not dirty. Messy is just disorganized. My apartment often gets messy because I'm traveling, coming back from different countries, or I am just being lazy and setting things in different locations. I'm not putting them where they belong. And therefore my house becomes messy or disorganized. Then I can say clean. I need to clean my house or I can say organize. I need to organize my house, but that's a little too formal. Clean can also mean my house is actually dirty, meaning there's mud or dirt or dust. And I really need to wash my floors and windows. You can clean your stove, clean your refrigerator. We don't usually say clean your laundry. You just say wash your laundry. Usually when you hear the term clean up, that means organize. When you are cleaning, you can wash, you can wipe, you can scrub. There are many terms for cleaning as well. If you have a stain in your clothing, that means maybe you spilled wine or some kind of food or drink, maybe ink or something that causes a different color in your clothing, kind of damaging um, that area. 
So you can get a stain out. It's difficult. Sometimes you cannot get a stain out, but you can uh, prevent a stain by washing the clothing immediately if possible. But you can say something has a stain or it is stained. Also, we have stained windows, which is a good thing. That's a different color. It's not clear. So stained glass is beautiful with different colors. And if you have not seen stained glass, look it up because it's quite beautiful. Rust is another thing like mold that can develop because of wet conditions or time. Rust is on metal and it is orange or brown, orange brownish. Rot is not for metal, it's for wood or many other materials that can rot. Your tooth can rot, um, food can rot, many things can rot. And that is, it's like kind of like decay. If you say you are rotten, it means you're a terrible person, uh, you're really awful. Sometimes I say that to friends, oh my god, you're rotten. Um, there's another video about pronunciation. I'm from New York and sometimes we have something like a soft or silent T. So it's kind of like skipping the T. I would just say you're rotten. You're rotten. But other people might say you're rotten. You're rotten. As a verb, something can be rotting. It can rot or be rotting because it's happening now. So the wood is rotting, her tooth is rotting, the banana is rotting, um, and then you can say it has gone rotten. Um, that's usually for food, something has gone rotten. Um, but usually you just say it rotted or wood. Then there's the term smudge. That's, that's also usually involving grease or oil. Uh, maybe you have a smudge on the paper. So oftentimes when I'm writing, I'm a teacher and I write some notes on a paper or a student's book and then I like accidentally smudge the ink. That's similar to smear. To smear is kind of like to spread and to smudge is the same concept, but it's definitely a bad thing. You might smear something purposely. Um, usually that's bad too. But And then we have the term smells bad. Sometimes Something is um, rotting or just very dirty and you could say it smells bad. Oh my god, that smells awful. As usual, I may have forgotten a few things about the word that I am reviewing today. I try to cover all of the important things, all of the things that may lead you to mistakes. So follow my videos. That way I can help you in the future to avoid mistakes. Subscribe below. There's a button down there. You hit subscribe, you hit the bell button so you can get notifications. And tell your friends about my channel so that I can help all of you try to avoid these mistakes and use the English expressions the way they are meant to be used. Lots of love to you from Empire English. Blah, 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 blah.